You can have unlimited pages with your Breezy site, and to access them, just click Pages from the shelf. If you mouse over an existing page, you can click the Page Settings icon to update the title, metadata, and other options. And you can click Create to start a new page. So I'll go ahead and enter a page title here, and then go down and add some meta keywords for search terms I'm targeting, and complete a meta description as well. And all these fields uh, can really help with your SEO if they're optimized properly. So on the next screen, you can choose which apps from the page you were just on that you'd like to carry over to your new page. Uh, it's usually a good idea to keep the same versions of the header and footer apps at least. And in this case, just for example, I'm going to keep them all. Uh, just to go through this uh, through this example here. So the important thing to note on your newly created page is that all of the apps that you carried over are now shared versions. And what that means is that if you update them on this new page, the content will also update on the other page or pages uh, that the app version is on already. So you can see this by mousing over any app, uh, look at the app toolbar, and you can see the icon showing uh, whether or not the app is on other pages. So let's add some new apps for our new page here. Um, you can duplicate existing apps, uh, which keeps all the styles, and you can simply delete the other version after your new app version is duplicated and edit that new version. Uh, it's a good idea to go into the App Store and properly name your app versions so that you can stay organized. You can also preview and install new apps from the App Store to start to bring your new page to life with original content.